All right, I must have made the wrong turn. Something does not look right. I don't know where my sorghum went. Pretty though, don't you think? All right, guys, it is another glorious day here in the Texas Panhandle. We are looking at uh, different hybrids. We're getting everything set up. We have some tours going on uh, with some growers just uh, out here living the life, man. All right, so last week we were out here in Hereford. We were setting everything up for our field days and getting everything mowed out. They, things look really good. We got all the signs up. Uh, got the tents up. We got some tours going on. We got some farmers walking through the field, uh, taking a look at all the products. But I wanted to come back here and talk a little bit about grain maturity and how uh, some different things can impact it. So we're looking here at some eye growth hybrids. This one is 2193. This is a medium maturity grain. So that medium maturity is a standard rating that we would apply for it so it's about 65 66 days to mid bloom and then it has a grain filling period and during that period it goes through milk stage soft dough hard dough and then finally into black layer just like other crops like corn the unique thing within grain sorghum is you also have that coloring effect and we're right now the reason we're trying to do all these field days is because we're right at the really good time to be looking at uh, grain coloring you can see that it's starting to put on some some of that pigmentation as it begins to mature we can still see the the seeds that have not put on any coloring yet but this progresses from the top of the uh, panicle all the way down to the bottom getting more mature on the top first so this is a clear indication of the process of maturity uh, proceeding so this is a medium maturity grain um, what you can find in maturities in different sorghum uh, products is a little bit of flex. So this is what I would call a determinate maturity. So it's going uh, it's going to be a medium maturity regardless of the environment. It sticks real true to that plan and it kind of progresses along. We have two hybrids over here that are a little bit more flexible in terms of their maturity uh, when the season is better. So we're on an irrigated plot and the high plains. In South Texas, this particular hybrid is one of the faster hybrids that we have. However, we see here under really good growing conditions that stretch out its maturity, it's gonna take advantage of all those extra nutrients, all that extra water. But we are seeing here, when we look at the maturity, we wanna come out to the, the plant, we wanna look at the most mature part of the plant, and you give it a little bit of a squeeze, and you see that white liquid come out, and that is indicating that it's still in that milk stage. And that white material will harden slowly over the coming weeks. Now, as this hybrid matures and it goes from milk stage, it'll move into soft dough next. And that soft dough stage is where that grain turns into almost like a baker's dough when you're making bread. Um, so you should be able to kind of mush it between your fingers. It's a little bit pliable like wet clay. Uh, and that indicates soft dough. When that's a key indicator for our forage products because <clears throat> when you're at soft dough in forages, that's the prime time to harvest. But for us, it's a clear indication that we're progressing nicely through our grain cycle for grain sorghum. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk to you about is maturity in forages. For the purposes of our trials, we know that some of our customers like to see the plant completely play out. So what we have here is a complete head right there. So it is starting to uh, bloom. It's going to put on some grain. And what's going to happen though, as sorghum sudan grass matures and starts putting out that head, it's going to want to put starch into this head. So it's going to take all the nutrients out of that stalk. It's going to put it in that grain head. So you are now faced with the challenge, if you let it go to head, that you still are going to need to capture that starch. And you may have to wait for that to go all the way to grain uh, soft dough 
in order to capture the maximum nutri nutrient value out of it. So when you're looking at a sorghum sedan grass, you want to take it before it starts going into boot and starts that reproductive process. And the reason for that is it maximizes that nutrition value within that uh, plant. It also maximizes your tonnage so you can get multiple cuts at the same time. So when you're looking at a sorghum sedan grass, you need to be thinking uh, multi-cut first. All right, guys, we're done here. Traveling agronomists, we're going home. About 500 miles to go. We're going to get home, rest, recuperate, get back on the road next week. We're going to see some cool crops. Like and subscribe, and we'll get back to it. Thanks.